Welcome to Critical Blues Reviews. I'm your host, Critical. And man, everything that kind of happened around me going to the movies, I'll break down real quick before I get into the story. Yeah, so I get into the movies. I forgot the name of the actual theater. I mean the theater, the actual film I was going to see. And so I'm trying to find it. And I couldn't remember. I was like, I don't see the, the title. And... I passed by it a couple of times, so I went to the security guard, the security guy, and I was like, yo, uh, <laughs> hey, I forgot the name of the movie because I had to use my uh, my cell phone. And uh, so I guess it was another, it was a manager that was out there. How may, how may I help you? You know, oh, yeah, yeah, sir. I, I, I'm i here to see a movie, man, but I forgot the name of the damn movie. It's it's uh, it's starring Ildris Elba, but not Beast. <laughs> That's what I told him. And so uh, he was like, well, let me see your ticket. I'm like, fuck. Because the security guard was like, oh, yeah, you, you, you going over. No, no, I have to see his ticket. <laughs> fuck. This. All right. Cool. You know, let's show him the ticket. Yeah, I have to see his ticket because on the ticket, it'll show it'll show, it'll show exactly where he, he needs to be. It it's, reads at the bottom. Bullshit, man. The goddamn security guard was going to tell me where to goddamn go to. Anyhow whatever i made it made it to the movies and uh went to go you know got inside or whatever the case you know uh now leaving the movie i get pulled over by the police <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm gonna put footage of that let, let you see my facial expression you know all right, sir i'm gonna give you a written warning tonight okay all right thank you again it's your right headlight did you sign here on this line by the x above the numbers it's a written morning, no court day, no fine. Do you have any questions over why I stopped you? Oh, no. no. You, said, you said where now? Where right there. Yes, sir. And he says my right light, correct? My right headlight. All right. Thank you, sir. Any questions? Uh, no problem. But, yeah, 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 yeah. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and get into it. Um, I'm drinking I'm drinking on uh, some Centauri whiskey and root beer, you know. Got to make sure your whiskey's with root beer. All my, my, my root beer drinkers out there. Mm. Let's go ahead and get into it. Now, this movie, which I got pulled over. <laughs> I had, had to show my ID for, you know what I'm saying, as I'm walking down the halls lost. And the movie I got pulled over for. <laughs> the movie we're about to review today. 300 Years of Longing. Should sound kind of freaky, don't it? <laughs> All right, folks. So, 300 Years of Longing. All right. Now, the director for this film, many people remember... Or love this director, George Miller, who actually directed Mad Max Fury Road. People love that film. It was beautiful. I thought it was a beautiful film. It was missing something. I have to go back and watch it again. But but it was it was an amazing film. Well, I would say it was a good film. Good good to great film. Um, for, if I remember correctly, good to great film. Uh, I think I only watched it once, so I saw a piece of it again or something like that. Visually stunning. Story-wise, it seems like I like the original better, but anywho. He directed Mad Max Fury Road and the writer for this film. You have Augusta Gore. This would be their first uh, writing or first script, first time uh doing something i guess to this magnitude um they don't have anything uh other work by augusta gore now you also have as the other writer a.s Bryant. now they wrote possession now let me give you the log line for this film an academic loner with anxiety is chosen to find a bottle with a genie to grant her three wishes, but these wishes may come at a price. Now the vlog line is a little <laughs> it's 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 a little deceptive. 
you know, it's a little, little bit. I mean, it, it is what I said it is, but not to that degree. Um, basically, we get to see the other side of the genie. Normally, it's the story is written from the user's perspective, the person who's making the wishes. But this story is from the genie's perspective. We get to understand, we get to follow the genie. You know, I I kind of put those wishes those wishes may come at a price is really nothing at stake. You, we're basically seeing everything from the POV of the genie. That's what made the story interesting. Now, the characters for this film, the Jin, spelled with a D. It's a D J I N N. The Jin is played by Idris Elba. You might have seen his work in Beasts of a Nation. Now, he likes to play in films called Beasts, huh? It's, it's, everything is a beast. I don't know. You might need to understand the roles that you're accepting, Idris. Then you have Alethea, played by Tilda Swinton. Now, you might have seen her work on Doctor Strange and... The Avengers Endgame. That's where I've seen her on other movies, of course, but that's where I paid attention to her. It was Doctor Strange. The Ancient One. Get back to that later, hopefully. Now, the likes for this film, non spoiler likes. The dialogue was amazing. I, I thought the dialogue was amazing along with the character development. Like the, and just just how they worded everything. I was pulled into the story. Just just by the words, just 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 by the colorful words they were using, and I don't mean colorful as in cursing. I mean like colorful as in very vibrant. Especially Alethea, her character. One thing about her is she her choice of words. I did like her character. Especially, we know that, and not to get into it, the type of personality she has, but yet with that personality, how she interacts with a couple of people from her group. I thought that was pretty cool. I did like their interaction. You know what I mean? It, was, it wasn't that, that character that's departed from everyone else. It's a, it's a departed character or, or disconnected character. But yet, at the same time, they have some form of connection, if that makes any sense. Not to get too deep into it. Also, this this had great storytelling. I love the stories. We're introduced to multiple stories. And it really gives us a POV that I really wasn't expecting. I didn't know what to expect from this film. And I was interested in those stories, like each story that we got or each tale that we received or that I received. I was very intrigued. I was very intrigued and it was different, very creative paths for this storytelling. There was great acting. I won't go that far. I'll say it was good acting. It was good acting. It was good acting. Beautiful visuals. Beautiful visuals. And, um, I mean, just certain shots, certain scenes that really, like, popped. You know what I mean? And I'm going to get more into the comparisons a little later. Now, my dislikes for this film. The way Alethea was brought to the genie bottle, without giving anything away, there are tales of how characters found the genie bottle. And I felt Alethea's version of finding, finding the genie bottle was... A little extra 
compared to what I've witnessed from everyone else. Maybe I missed something. Maybe I can get into the whole spoiler thing a little later. I don't know. But I I was a little confused because everybody else didn't have or others didn't have that that mysticism or that fantastical way of finding the genie bottle. So I, I, I was a little I was a little uh I don't know. It, it was a little inconsistent for me. The symbolism in this film. <laughs> Yo, black women are not gonna like this movie. <laughs> Yo, and this with Idris Elba. Black women love Idris Elba, man. Black women love them some Idris Elba. They ain't gonna like this. Uh, nah, they ain't gonna like this. It's interesting. Um, I mean, of course, he's the Magic Negro. I mean, like, it's, it's, it's straight to the point. Magic Negro. I mean, that's in the trailer, right? So, I wish I can get into detail because I don't want to spoil anything. I might do a spoiler review on it and just and just give the shit. Give give my personal opinion on what I noticed. But because it was it was some uh problematic type it was interesting. Because I put it this way. One thing I know about Hollywood and Hollywood stories there there are not a lot of really black love connections in these stories uh no very rarely do we see a beautiful story about love with a black nuclear family very rare or maybe you know in the 90s and early 2000s we got you know, mostly, uh, you know, stories were coming like that all over the place, like love and basketball and you know what I mean? You know, stuff like that. Um, but you know, like you're not going to find that here, of course, it's, that's, that's not, you know, <laughs> but, uh, uh move, moving on, I wasn't excited about the resolution the resolution was kind of, it felt rushed, you know, it was like, it was drawn out. And uh, and I kind of was happy that it was it was a little rushed because I had to go use the bathroom bad. I had to go bad. I had to go so bad. But um, that's what you get for drinking beer in the movie theater. But yeah, man, uh, wasn't really feeling the resolution. It was a little rushed. I didn't really get the point. It wasn't really a strong point. Maybe from the director or the writer's point of view, it there was, but for me, you know, it was just like, okay, you know, what, what is, where is this going? Like, like it's kind of, this should be the inevitable. You know what I mean? Like, I I guess because of the type of character that Tilda Swinton played, Alethea, you know, her stubborn character at times. Which that's what prolonged the movie, but this movie could end it quickly. Like I said, black women aren't gonna like this movie. <laughs> we'll see. You know what? We'll see. Black women, <laughs> it's fucked up. All my black women, I, I want y'all. Whoever who watches this film, please leave a description of what you think at the bottom. I I assume that black women aren't gonna like this film. You know what I'm saying? But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. You know what I mean? So, but I would like to get your your review on how you felt about it. Hey, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You know, it, I, I I just saw some stuff. I, I was a little problematic right there. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, oh, oh. We we just gonna kick continue with that trope, huh? Black women and black men cannot be together. Okay, all right. You know, but hey, that's just me. That's just me. It might be some people that saw it and be like, no, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. I had a tear in my eye. <laughs> Stella, is, Stella is getting her groove back. Alethea, Alethea is getting her groove back. You know. We'll see. We'll see. I can't wait to 
hopefully we get some of those uh <laughs> responses i can't wait to hear your responses um what i compare to this film of course i'm going to compare this film to aladdin i didn't even see aladdin any of them <laughs> but i mean it had a genie in it. it had a genie of course it's going to be aladdin if i didn't see it it's going to be the only movie i'm gonna compare it to that i didn't see <laughs> like there's a genie in it <laughs> uh i'm gonna say oddly enough game of thrones i you know i just saw part of the uh last episode of game of thrones and uh not the last episode but the first episode of game of thrones the second one just came out but um but yeah i i was getting game of thrones vibe um and some of the stories there were like like running of kingdoms if that makes any sense and and that's where that vibe kind of came in you know being a heir to the throne type of situation okay also 300 i felt like the technique the style that this movie was shot and how this movie was shot it had a 300 vibe to it the beautiful picture you know what i mean that you know that i was referring to earlier it definitely had a 300 style to it um i mean like i said mad max fury road was it was beautiful it was like beautiful chaos if that makes any sense like you know tornado sandstorms and stuff like that like this one it 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 gave you a picturesque or you know it 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 definitely as someone else said it it looked like a painting a mo- a moving painting at times you know um yeah and and it, it was interesting storylines uh like i was going to say in my likes it it told a very creative path of storytelling stuff that you're not used to seeing in film you know but uh my rating what do i rate this film Overall, like if I if I look at this and just take away all the symbolisms and the messaging, if I took that away, right? Let's say they just we're just picking these characters to represent, you know, you know, we're just picking these characters. There's no symbolism behind this whatsoever. This was I, I was I was very entertained looking at it from that standpoint. Oh, and looking at it, you know, <laughs> when you're like, oh, okay, uh, 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 okay, I hear you loud and clear. Um, so I, I, I wanted to give this a nine, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it because I did, I did thoroughly enjoy it. I will give this at first look. First look, I might change my mind if I watch it again. But I'm going to give this eight and a half violin strings. Eight and a half violin strings. Now, why should you watch this film? If you like or love fantasies and you're into those, you know, like those type of children's stories turned into adult stories because some children's stories actually were adult stories like Pinocchio I think that was an adult story you know they had racism and (laughs) and brutality and then all of a sudden it turns into a children's story and then you know but um so you know it's still the children's story now but a lot of children's stories are turned in you know used to be adult stories now if uh stories of genies I mean, I can see that being an adult story at first and it turns into a children's story. But uh, but if you love fantasies, either way, if you love fantasies, I w- I'd suggest check this out. Uh, mostly drama, then fantasy and sprinkled in some violence, like, you know, like little breadcrumbs, paprika. Now, some people put too much paprika in things. Um, There's a little sprinkle, a little sprinkle of violence. It's not... It don't look for action that much action in this story 
So if you're into mostly drama and love story and fantasy and visuals, you know, this may be the film for you. If you love you some BBWs, <laughs> this may be the story for you. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Um, but I, I, you know, you know, other than the, uh, the symbolism, I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was definitely a beautiful movie. Uh, really good storytelling. I, 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 you know, it's not my style. You know what I mean? It, It was something different out of the norm. And for me to walk out saying, well, that's not bad. You know what I mean? This is, this is, it was pretty good. It was, it was cool. You know, I laughed at certain parts. No, not a lot of laughing, but you know, I did chuckle on a few things, a few things. Um, and other things I was like, black women ain't going to like this. <laughs> well, anyway, man, anyway, anyway, um, please like and subscribe. You know, uh, if you enjoy what you're hearing and what you're seeing, if you enjoy this content, like and subscribe, go ahead and pass me around, pass me around like a flyer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Pass me around like a flyer in the eighties. That's advertising for the next hip hop DJ. You know what I mean? All right. But, uh, thank you for listening. Um, comment, like subscribe down below what you think what you like what you don't like about the show yeah man you know what i mean let me know that you're out there all right all right y'all y'all take it easy and uh it's up to you if you want to check this out um i'm just you know messing around i don't know if black women are gonna like this or not but uh yeah go ahead and uh you know check it out for yourselves and tell me what you think I am eager. I'm all ears. And and, and, and and anybody that wants to check it out, tell me what you think of this movie. I'm all ears. You know what I mean? Because uh, once it's all said and done, it's, it's basically about a... <laughs> I'm not going to say it because I spoil it. That, that's spoiling it. I, I'm not going to say it. All right, folks. If y'all want me to... Do a non-spoiler, uh, uh, excuse me, if y'all want me to do a spoilers version of this where I could just say what the hell I want to say, let me, let me get, we're going to start low, we're going to start low, let me get, how should I do this, give me 80, give me 80 likes, let me get 80 likes, and let me know, get you, and pass me around, and, and tell people, hey man, I want to, I want to hear, what this, what this, what Critical got to say about this damn spoiler, you know, because it, it, it was a lot that happened in this film. It was so much to talk about in this film. But anyway, that is it. All right. So remember, 80 likes. Let me get 80 likes and then, uh, and I'll drop a spoiler. So pass me around, tell everybody, hey, man, we need to go ahead and get Critical to tell us what the spoiler is. You know, but all right, folks, y'all take it easy. One.